वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री जीरो सो द लैब जॉइंट इज कनेक्टेड टुगेदर यूजिंग वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंच डायमीटर बोल्ड इफ बोल्ड इज मेड फ्रॉम अ मटीरियल हैविंग शेयर स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एज शोन डिटरमाइन द शेयर स्ट्रेन डिवेलप इन द शेयर प्लेन ऑफ द बोल्ड एंड पी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव किप्स सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ लैब जॉइंट एंड दैट इज कनेक्टेड टुगेदर बाय दिस बोल्ड the load p is applied and this is the shear uh, stress strain diagram for the uh, material that is shown over here so let write first the given data given that the diameter of bolt is equal to 1.25 inch clear load p that is given as 75 kips and what we have to find is that we have to find the shear strain gamma that is developed in the uh, shear plane of the bolt so let's start with the solution now you can see that uh, due to this loading if i draw the uh, free wided uh, free wided diagram over here so let this is the one joint this is uh, one plate this is another so there is a load of p at this end clear so due to this load there will be a double shear in the bolt and that shear is represented as v you can see over here there is two places where this bolt will tend to shear and that let this shear is v so internal loading for internal loading the shear force the shear force developed developed in the shear plane in the shear plane of bolt can be determined determine by using the equilibrium condition by using equilibrium condition now what will be the equilibrium condition equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force taken in this direction is positive so you can see here three forces p v and v are applied so minus v minus v plus p is equal to 0 so from here we will get that 2v is equal to p or v is equal to p divided by 2 now v p is equal to 750 75 uh, that is given over here 75 kips so 75 divided by 2 will be equal to 37.5 kips so this shear force v is equal to 37.5 kips we have this shear force we can use this shear force in order to determine the shear stress and shear strain so we know that shear stress tau is equal to v divided by a so v is 37.5 and area of bolt so area of bolt is pi by 4 d square and d is 1.25 so 1.25 whole square so when you calculate it you will get the shear stress comes out to be 30.56 ksi now using this result using this result the corresponding the corresponding shear strain can be obtained from the above shear stress strain diagram how so let's move and 
calculate that. So you can see this is the shear stress strain diagram. So this shear stress is 30.56. Let this come over here. So let this is 30.56. So again, this shear stress, we have shear strain that is gamma that is not known. So we will uh, use this graph in order to find. You can now see that this is a straight line and slope is constant. So the ratio, any ratio of vertical to horizontal will be the same. So if you are taking 36 divided by this gamma, this will be equal to 50 divided by this 0 0.05. So we'll use this equation in order to find the uh, shear strain. So 30.56, which is this point, Clear. this is the vertical component at this point we have a shear stress then and against this shear stress we have shear strain of gamma so their ratio 30.56 divided by its shear strain will be equal to this load which is 50 divided by its strain so 50 divided by 0 0.005 so from here you will get the shear strains comes out to be 0 0.00306 radian or you can see that shear stress is equal to 3.06 into 10 raised to power minus 3 radian. So this is the answer of our question. I hope you have enjoyed the video, uh, do subscribe my channel uh, if you like my videos and support me as well. Thank you.